Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be driving this ICC Cricket World Cup points table. Okay, so we will have some input, input about which which matches we played and and which team won the match, right? So I am recording is as of today after India Pakistan match. So India has won the match. And India is on top. So so we have to drive this points table. Essentially, we have all the list of teams, right? Then how many number of matches played? Three matches for India, right? Again, a win all three, loss zero point six, right? So this is what we are going to drive. Also towards the end of the video, I will have an assignment for you. You have to drive one more column that I will tell you at the end. Also, I have solved this kind of problem earlier as well, but today I am going to solve it using two method: arm zindagi and mentor zindagi. Okay, so this video is going to be very interesting. I hope you enjoy it for next next twenty twenty five minutes. Okay, so what input I have? So if I have created this table, ICC Cricket World Cup, we have all the match numbers, right? So first match is between England and New Zealand, and winner is New Zealand. And similarly, we have latest match Pakistan India, and India is the winner, right? So once we create the SQL, we will tally it with the with this table. Okay. Now let's talk about first arm zindagi. Right then we will move on to the mentor zindagi. Now in arm zindagi we think very raw, right? So what we need? First I need all the list of all the teams, right? India, New Zealand, South Africa, right? So I need list of all the teams in the first column. So how I will get? So to get all the teams, I need to select all the teams from team one column and team two because there might be some team. Which is only present as team two. So, for example, India is present as team two only, right? So, if I take all the team one teams and and I assume that all the team will be covered, that will be wrong, right? Maybe one team is playing only as team one, right? Then it will not be there in team two. So, I have to make sure I select all the teams from team one and team two, right? So, how I can do it? So, first method is I will select team one. From ICC World Cup, right? So I will get, and I will do distinct because I need distinct, right? If I do this, I will get all the distinct team, but there are only eight teams coming. Total are ten teams, if you see, right? So I need to take team from team two also, right? So I will say select distinct team two, right? Okay. So I there are seven teams, but I need a combination that all the table, all both the teams together and the unique values. So I will do union. Union will remove the duplicates as well, right? In that way, I have got list of all the teams. So this is the first thing I have to do, right? List of all the teams. All the ten teams are there. So my first column is clear that my team name will be this. So team one as team. Here also I will say team one as team. Right. So this is first step. Now next thing is I need to get the number of matches played. Right. I need to also get the number of matches played. So if you see when I am doing distinct team one, I am getting list of teams from team one column. But I missed the trick. Right. What trick? I will tell you. So when I am taking team one from here, I can also take count. Right. I can also take count that how many number of matches are played. So instead of doing this thing, I will do group by, right? Group by is also same. Group by also do distinct only, right? So if I do this, group by is also same. This is also giving you distinct team. But now I will also take count star as number of matches played, right? Right, or let's say matches played simply. Okay, so if I do this, I will get all the teams from team one column. From team one column, if I look, Afghanistan played two matches, Australia one, right? But I have some teams say as as team two as well. So similarly, I will do the same thing for team two, right? So I will say team two as team count star group by team two. Now what will happen? I will get Also, I need to convert it to union all because I don't want to remove any duplicates because I want to count each match, right? So if I do this here, 
so i am getting some duplicates so for example australia one here and australia one here because australia played as team one also one match and team two also so one so they are coming as separate columns now if i want combined matches played i can just group on team and get the sum of matches played right so i will say select team comma sum of matches played as matches played from this table this sub query basically right and group by team right so if i do this i will get number of matches played right so this did a trick for me instead of doing just distinct and union and getting the list i got the list as well as i got the number of matches played right so india played three matches so far right pakistan played three matches and it is in in the line so for example let's take one randomly ba bangladesh played three matches here also three matches right so this solved my problem of number of uh, list of team as well as matches played right now what's next now if you look at one more column is there winner column right so i have winner column here so let's let's call it as a ct with with all matches as this right okay. so this is my ct now let's look at the table again select star from icc cricket world cup okay now what i can do i can just take winner and count number of wins right so india played three matches three they won all three so india here it's three times so if i just do this winner comma count star as wins right group by winner right so this will give me list of winners each team and how many times they have won if a team has not won even a single match they will not come right because in the winner column they will not be even once right so for example afghanistan is not there because they have not won any match so if you go back here you see afghanistan has lost all the matches so they are not coming here but they are there in the in the all matches right because we are taking all the teams and the number of matches played so they are there here but not here right so let's call it as winners as and create another ct okay now what i will do i will join these two tables on on the team name here team name is team here it is winner so i will say select from all matches let's call it m and now i will do live join right because if i do inner join afghanistan will not be there in my output but afghanistan i want to show they have not won any match so if i do inner join with winner i will lose afghanistan and whatever team has not won anything right australia also i will lose netherland also i will lose so i don't want that right that's why i will do left join so that all the teams from all matches should come so left join winners w on m dot team equal to w dot winner okay so this is one thing so now what all information i will get from m i will say m dot team give me team name right also give me m dot sorry m not dot matches played right these two things and from the wins table i will get the number of wins so i will say w dot wins right and let me run this query and show you then we will move on to drive more columns right so i will go there and if you see for the four team right which have not won any match right there are four teams which have not won any match if you go back here there are four teams right sri lanka netherland australia afghanistan right afghanistan australia netherland sri lanka right they have not won any match so number of wins is coming as null right number of wins is coming as null now there is one catch here to drive losses so we want to drive the number of losses as well l so it is simple total matches played right so there is one catch i will tell you what minus number of wins as my bad as losses right so if i run this query now there is a problem 
so number of losses is coming as null for these things right because any operation with null will result in null moreover we want to show as zero so if there is no win we want to show as zero not null right and any operation will null will result in null so 2 minus null is null 2 minus null is null right 2 minus null is null again so what i will do i will do a coalesce so i will say coalesce zero as wins right and similarly i will use this expression here right and now if i run this you see we got zero right and losses two right let me order it by order it by wins okay. the team which has won most matches should come on top right just just putting it okay so we have new zealand india and likewise okay now there is one more thing points how many points so for each win we have two points right so again i'll take this right into two as points so this is my points okay so this is my final table net run rate we are not going to calculate because that is that can be another video completely because that will have lot of calculation but for so far we derived all the columns team matches played wins losses and points right so let's let's verify quickly india and new zealand have won three uh, matches three three played and three won right india and new zealand three win and all three win zero losses right south africa 2 2 pakistan 3 2 so south africa 2 2 and pakistan 3 2 right so this is fine i think our results are fine right now this is one method let's move on to the mentos method and this is very very nice method let's call it mentos and we will use some tricks to simplify the solution okay so what i will do let me copy this ct again and i want to show you something very cool okay okay so what i will do here now very interestingly if you see if you see our table let's let, let me do this okay so now if you see we have a winner column right so we have team 1 team 2 and winner now what i can also do here only so count star will give you number of matches played but here i can get the win count as well right so what i will do i will say is when so we are talking about team 1 right equal to winner then 1 else zero and right so i am checking if the team 1 and winner are same so so in this case for example pakistan and pakistan then make it as 1 else zero and i will submit here as win flag right so if they have won that match the win flag will be won if not l0 and i am summing that as well here similarly similarly i will do this for team 2 right so split now here it will be team 2 right right and i got the win flag now let's look at the all matches once what is there select okay let me run this inner query first right so this is the one okay uh, there is some syntax error mm. okay i think this is it okay so if you see we have got the win flag as well so for example afghanistan played two matches both win flag is zero now for australia it is in the team 1 as a team 2 also they have played so matches played one from team 1 and win flag is zero from here also win flag is zero right so again i can sum that up and get the number of wins here only so for example team number of matches played comma sum of win flag as wins 
right this will give me number of wins and if i run this now select star from all matches right i got the number of matches played as well as wins right i don't have to join with the winner table separately to get the number of wins right and now life is simple once we have number of wins and also we handle the null as well so we have we have already done l0 so i don't have to do null handling as well i don't have to do left join as well right now things are simple what i have to do select star from all matches and what are the columns i need i need losses so i will say matches played minus wins as losses comma wins into two as points right that is all we need right now i'm going to tell you the assignment so let's look at the output and this is fine india played three matches all three they have won again i can do order by wins descending right so what is the advantage of this approach the advantage is i don't have to do null handling i don't have to do left join right there is only one ct and the final result right here i had to create one ct two cts one for all matches one for winners join them do the null handling and all of that stuff but here we we did it really well with the use of case when statement i created a win flag as well and then sum the win flag right so this is very cool approach i hope you like it please like the video if you really like this approach so th so the assignment is this so let's say you have draw matches as well and you have to create a no result column right you have to create a no result column here right and you have to say if a match is tie or draw right it will be it will come as uh, so the winner will be uh, you can say for example you will insert one more row and let's say matches between pakistan in uh, south africa and india and let's say it is a try or draw so you can say draw or no result right you can say nr right you can say nr or draw anything you can say now with this with this you have to create one more column right that will be no result so how many no result are there for each team also in case of no result you each team will get one one points right so here for every win the team is getting two points but in case of no result so india will have then seven points after this match right and south africa will also have five points right because there is a no result match okay so so i will put this this uh, insert statement along with the last one in the description box try it out and comment your solution you can try out with the raw approach the the arm zindagi approach or you can try it with the mentos approach okay thanks for watching the video have a good day